Bosconians and Salesian educators, let us all stand and join the DBS Choral in the singing of the Philippine National Anthem. Panatang makabayan, iniipig ko ang Pilipinas. Aking lupang sinilangan, tahanan ng aking lahi, kinukup ko pa ko at tinutulungan. Maging malakas, masipag at marangal. Dahil mahal ko ang Pilipinas, tiringgin ko ang payo ng aking mga magulang. Susundin ko ang tuntunin ng paaralan at tutuparin ko ang tungkulin ng isang mamamayang makabayan. Naglilingkod, nag-aaral at nagdarasal ng buong katapatan. Iaalay ko ang aking buhay, pangarap pagsisikap sa bansang Pilipinas. Let us recite the Vision, Mission, Respect Pact and the Bosconian Profile. Vision. In the spirit and style of St. John Bosco and St. Mary Mazzarello, we form good Christians and honest citizens. Mission. As an academic Filipino, Catholic, and Salesian educating community, we ensure the holistic formation of the human person using religion as a basis of education through the preventive system of education. We accompany young people, especially those who are affected by different forms of poverty, to recognize their Christian vocation and in joyful service, commit themselves for the common good. Respect back. As a Busconian, I promise to respect myself and others, treat others with love and kindness, strive to make my words and actions good, kind, honest, and fair, in order to help create an environment of peace in my school, home, community, and online. Bosconian Profile for August. A Bosconian is proud to be Filipino. All together, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Let us pray the Angelus. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived by the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done to me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh. And dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. For forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Spirit, Tridum, Day 2. Let us be still in our hearts as we listen to the Spirit song and make it our personal prayer as we beg God to send us the gifts of His Spirit. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Romans. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him, so that you may overflow with hope, Holy Spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us pause for some moments of silence to ponder on the word of God that we have just heard. For every prayer we shall see, come Holy Spirit. Let us pray for the church that all Christians will open their hearts to the Holy Spirit. We pray to the Lord. Come Holy Spirit. Let us pray for the world that the Holy Spirit's gift of peace will take root in human hearts everywhere. We pray to the Lord. Come, Holy Spirit. Let us pray for people who suffer in our families, in our educating community, and in the world. We pray to the Lord. Come, Holy Spirit. Let us pray for our parents that they may continue to be inspired by the Spirit as they form us at home. We pray to the Lord. Come, Holy Spirit. Let 
Let us pray for our Salesian educators, the non-teaching staff, security, and support personnel that the Holy Spirit might fill them with the wisdom, courage, and joy in the call God has given them. We pray to the Lord. Come, Holy Spirit. Let us pray for ourselves that the Holy Spirit will open our minds and hearts to learn from one another and grow in friendship as followers of Jesus this year. We pray to the Lord. Come, Holy Spirit. Lord God, thank you for sending us the Holy Spirit as a sign of your love. Grant that we may always follow his lead and use his gifts to enable ourselves to grow into authentic Christians and responsible citizens of our community. We make this prayer to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Entrustment of the Home to Our Lady Help of Christians Most Holy Virgin Mary, appointed by God to be the help of Christians, we choose you as the mother and protectors of our home. We ask you to favor us with your powerful protection, preserve our home from every danger, from fire, flood, lightning, storms, earthquakes, thieves, vandals, COVID-19, and from every other danger. Bless us, protect us, defend us. Keep us your own, all the people who dwell in this home. Protect them from all accidents, sickness, and misfortunes. But above all, obtain from them the most important grace of avoiding sin. Mary, help us Christians. Pray for all those who live in this home, which is entrusted to you for all time. Amen. All Salvation Saints, pray for us. Mary, help us Christians. Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us now listen to the Good Day Talk to be given by our school principal, Sister Josephine R. Garza, FMA. Good morning, Sister Pinky. Live Jesus and Mary with joy. Good morning, Wisconsinans. How are all of you doing? I hope you all had a wonderful first day of classes yesterday, despite maybe some of you encountered, encountered some issues with your uh, NGS accounts and or the Zoom meeting IDs and passwords. But I, I hope uh, those are just part of our uh, first day experience and hopefully we will have a better uh, experience in the today and in the coming days for our good day this tuesday of the first week of classes i'd like to present to you our learning continuity plan called deeply dbs uh, i have been presenting this i have presented this so many times to so many groups of parents in the months of June and July, in order to explain to them what is DBS plan for the Wisconsinans, for all of you during this new school year. So our plan is called Deeply DBS. Deeply is an acronym for Distance Education and Evangelization Plan for the Youth in DBS. We have actually prepared a primer for this, um, and the contents of the primer are part of the handbook that you're going to receive one of these days. Uh, well, before I go ahead, I'd like to thank Christian Abiliar, one of the high school Wisconsinans who provided the uh, uh, artwork for this um, learning continuity plan of the school. Okay. Um, so we all know that since five months ago, when the COVID-19 disease was uh, declared a pandemic by the World Health Organization. Schools and teachers have to change the way they meet their students. Um, it's not possible for you to be in school 
for face-to-face -face classes where it is probably more exciting because you get to meet your classmates and friends. You interact with, it, your, with your teachers live. But you see, uh, it's, it's really not possible at the moment. So as solutions, as a solution school, DBS is going to be where the young people are today. You can't be here physically, but you are uh, going to be present online. So there will DBS be. Like St. John Bosco and St. Mary Domenica Mazzarello, we embrace the most fruitful ways of being close to young people to educate while evangelizing and to evangelize while educating so that they may have life and have it in abundance. So deeply DBS, why do we call our learning continuity plan with this name? Deeply is a word that means greatly, to a great extent, and profoundly. Deeply DBS, the name of our learning continuity plan for this academic year, highlights the assurance that the school gives of the quality Catholic solution 21st century education and faith formation that the school will provide, although it's going to be in a virtual environment. Through online and other flexible distance education and evangelization modalities, you are going to receive a brand of education and accompaniment that are distinctly and characteristically and deeply DBS in identity and mission. That is in the spirit and style of the preventive system of St. John Bosco. Now, what is the framework of this? I'd like you to look at the image that is there projected before you. You see there are two arms. One arm is labeled solution educators and the other arm is labeled parents. And in the middle of these two arms that seem to be embracing are young people, you, Wasconians. And you see there the words, a shared mission for and among the young. This is the framework of Deeply DBS. What does this mean? It means that the success of Deeply DBS lies in the active participation and collaboration of both the solution educators and your parents through different roles and tasks in the distance education and evangelization programs and initiatives of the school. You, as the young people in our care, will continue to be at the center of all our educative efforts. With the cooperation and support of your parents and the solution educators, you will continue to be passionate about learning, intrinsically motivated to grow in your spiritual, intellectual, emotional, and social life, and inspired to give your best in order to become the good Christians and upright citizens the school envisions you to be. Is this framework new? Well, no, it's not. This is how we have been doing it in DBS. Parents and educators share and collaborate in the mission for the good of the young. So going virtual in this, in this school year, with all the challenges that distance education will pose, will not hinder us from collaborating and working together with your parents for your good. We will maintain open and multiple communication ch channels between your parents and your teachers and the school. So what does Deeply DBS include? First and foremost, the program ensures a solid faith and character formation for you Bosconians. For academics, the school will use a revised curriculum covering essential learning competencies adjusted to the distance learning setup and to the shortened school calendar issued by the Department of Education. However, the quality Catholic solution 21st century education offered by DBS all these years will remain evident in all the academic offerings. The applied courses in MAPE and TLE will focus on the most essential and practical life skills young people of today need to acquire to become productive and well-rounded individuals prepared to face the future. Now, in this virtual school, in the online environment, we will continue also to have co-curricular and other auxiliary programs and services. We can't be just studying the whole time. Synchronous and asynchronous co-curricular and extracurricular activities and the solution youth groups will remain part of our virtual school environment. 
as helps to you in your experience of the pandemic, the following ser services will also be made available. Campus ministry, religious services, counseling, health consultation, daily academic consultation with your subject teachers if you need them, especially if you need them, and special academic tutorials. Meeting Jesus in the Daily The school's campus ministry and liturgy team, in collaboration with the CLE department, will animate the daily online morning prayers, masses for our educating community on special feast days and school celebrations, and the weekly class lecture divina. They will also organize the annual class recollections and retreats for, this, for you, Bosconians. In addition, class feast days, which are special moments of celebration of the life and virtues of Salesian saints and of bonding among homeroom sections, will continue to be celebrated. All of these are helps for you to encounter Jesus in the daily, deepen your friendship with Him, and find your life's meaning in loving and serving Him in others. In the virtual setup also, education to self-giving will remain. Notwithstanding the inability to carry out service and outreach initiatives through face-to-face -face means, you will still be given online opportunities to reach out to those at the peripheries and to organize and experience virtual service learning activities in your CLE and AP classes. The grade school program in CLE is going to use God's Park, a gamified catechetical program, which will give these young Bosconians lots of offline action plans that are cool and fun ways to translate what they learn in class to concrete acts of love and service carried out at home. How did we come up with our plan? If you remember, we asked your parents to fill out a profiling survey last April 2020. I'd like to let you know that from that, we discovered that 98% of DBS families have internet access and learning gadgets at home. So 98%, that's quite high. But that's understandable because we are in the national capital region. So here, uh, most of the homes of students in private schools will probably be uh, able to uh, handle online classes since there is the possibility of having the internet access and learning gadgets at home. So this school year, we're offering distance learning delivered in two ways. For grades one to, uh, for, for nursery to grade 12, the first option is the online distance learning. And for nursery to grade three, there is the second option, which is the guided home learning or the modified homeschooling. Both the online distance learning and the guided home learning will make use of self-learning modules uploaded in your personal account in the Solar NGS. So we're going to make use of the Solar NGS as our main learning management system this school year. The Solar NGS recently enhanced with additional tools for teaching and learning, better security features, and a more stable cloud storage using Amazon Web Services will remain as our main learning management system for this school year, as I've said. The long-time familiarity of you, Wisconsinans, and your teachers in using this LMS makes the transition from face-to-face -face classes to distance learning smoother and less difficult. Of course, the new students will be given orientation next week and training on how to navigate the Solar NGS before school uh, the first quarter begins on the first week of September. So it's clear that in order for students to fully participate in synchronous and asynchronous classes, the following are necessary. You should have internet access at home. You should have a learning device or a gadget, a desktop, laptop, or tablet. Uh, we actually don't encourage the use of a smartphone except perhaps for taking pictures or uh, taking videos, but for doing your schoolwork, uh, the learning device uh, is, the recommended learning device is either a desktop, a laptop, or a tablet. And a web, there should be a web camera for synchronous sessions if the device is not, does not have a front camera. And you should have 
a headphone or earphones like what I'm wearing now or uh, any other kind, especially to be used for online assessments. All right, so uh, your parents know, dear Bosconians, that TBS is now offering a fully online school year. We're not going to resume classes face-to-face -face until a vaccine against COVID becomes available and the COVID cases are down to safe levels for all. This is for your safety. We really want you to be here with us, Wisconsin. There's nothing like the face-to-face -face classes here, but for the meantime, we cannot do that. So um, we are, for the meantime, going to, to be um, employing online distance learning. So as I've already mentioned earlier, this may be done through synchronous or asynchronous ways. So just to define the terms, synchronous online learning will include real-time classes via video conferencing, teleconferencing, live chatting, and live streaming lectures in a virtual classroom. So your teachers can either use Google Meet, Zoom, or any other uh, video conferencing app. But it will uh, primarily be through Google Meet and or Zoom. These real-time engagements are opportunities for you to meet with your teachers and classmates at an established time to allow for interactions in real time. So the, class, the, the classes will be scheduled by the school. You're going to receive your schedule of classes, hopefully next week. We're still uh, trying to uh, finalize them because as you know, uh, in synchronous classes, you will be further subdivided into smaller groups to make it more effective. Okay. Now, you will also be having asynchronous online learning. What is this? This will include self-guided lesson modules, streaming video content, virtual resources, post posted lectures, notes, and worksheets, exchanges across discussion boards and others using the solar NGS. Okay, so um, in this modality, nursery to grade three students are required to have an adult learning coach at home. Now, if so, if you're in nursery to grade three, in the online distance learning mode, you should have an adult learning coach at home who may be one of your parents, an adult sibling or a relative or a hard tutor or dayaya whose main task is to make sure that you are able to attend the scheduled synchronous sessions every day and to do your asynchronous tasks. Teaching and assessments will be done or given by your teachers from DBS. As part of your formation as Busconians, however, if you are in grades 4 to 12, you are highly encouraged to strive to be independent learners, that is to personally do your school works under the direction of your subject teachers. You should not be asking your parents to do your school work for you um, because it, it might work during your synchronous uh, online sessions because we'll never really know whether it's you or your parents who are doing your school work. But during assessments, during um, examination days, we will definitely, your teachers will definitely be meeting with you, not with your parents. So that will be, that's how uh, your teachers will find out whether you are actually the one participating in the synchronous and asynchronous classes or not. All right. So asynchronous online learning uh, is actually considered offline because teachers will not be on real time at that particular moment, but your schoolwork may be in the NGS or your textbooks. Okay, so you are, it's part of the everyday schedule, right? So I already mentioned this. Now let's go to the second uh, modality, which is open only to nursery to grade three students. Uh, those who have opted to, un to enroll under the guided home learning. In this mode of delivery, children study from home using self learning modules produced by the school, but following a schedule set by their adult learning coach at home. 
So those of you who are in grades 1 to 3, enrolled under the guided home learning, it's only this week that you're really obliged to attend the I Am a Busconian module sessions. After this, then you uh, will begin studying by yourself at home together with your adult learning coach. You're not anymore going to be obliged to attend the online sessions of those enrolled under the online distance learning. So this is an ideal, this is an ideal setup for working parents who may not be available to coach their young children within the given schedule of those enrolled in the online distance learning classes. Okay, so the task of the adult learning coach here is not just to make sure that the student is attending classes because they are not actually going to attend the online classes, but the task of the adult learning coach is to teach the contents of the modules within the given time frame and administer the formative assessments. The self-learning modules and readily printable materials for teaching will be uploaded in the Solar NGS account of the students. But the quarterly and year-end assessments of the students enrolled under guided home learning will be conducted by assigned DBS teachers. Okay, so I just like to make to make it clear that whether a student in nursery to grade three is enrolled in the online distance learning or in the guided home learning, they are going to receive the same contents and the same recommended learning experiences, but the classes of the guided home learners are scheduled by their adult learning coach at home. That, that remains to be the sole difference, okay? So these guided home learning students are also assigned an advisor in DBS. So those in nursery and kinder, their class advisor is Mrs. Pinky Flores. Those in grades one, two, and three, guided home learning, their class advisor is Sister Violeta Erasmo. So they are going to attend weekly online meetings with their class advisors wearing, wearing their DBS uniform, the daily or the P uniform. And, um, they, they are going to meet not for classes, but for age-appropriate activities like storytelling, singing, dancing, moments of prayer, just to give these Bosconians a sense of belonging to a school community. Okay, so what will be our main instructional strategy during this school year, Bosconians? I know if you recall the fourth quarter scenario when classes were abruptly canceled, and we had to shift to the use of the full time use of the solar NGS to continue the fourth quarter lessons. I know uh, it was kind of hard for many of you because the teachers were merely uploading their materials that you were supposed to study by yourself, and then you were uh, you had to comply with certain um, assessment requirements that were given by our teachers. So in, in that particular experience, um, the responsibility was fully on the students, on all of you Basconians. That's why some of you found it difficult. Some of you uh, found it so hard to comply with the requirements. It, some of you took it so long, took so long to finish your requirements. So in order to avoid that this school year, we're making use of a strategy called the GRR strategy. GRR stands for Gradual Release of Responsibility. It's a strategy uh, also known as guided practice. It's totally opposite of what happened during the fourth quarter. And uh, I'll, I'll tell you why. Okay, so this GRR strategy involves three phases. You find that in the first column of this presentation. You have there the I do phase, the we do phase, and the you do phase. What are these? Um, the, in the I do phase, I refers to your teacher. It is your teacher who takes the lead in this first phase. The teach, what does the teacher do? The teacher can give a lecture. The teacher can give a demonstration. And the mode of delivery can either be synchronous or asynchronous for senior high school. Everyone else will have uh, this phase one as a, a delivered synchronously from grades one to 10. But the senior high school 
can be given the option. Uh, their, their teachers may also as assign or deliver phase one asynchronously. That is to assign you uh, a particular time frame in order to accomplish the, the I do phase. But what happens here in the I do phase? You just, as I said, it's that your teacher who takes the lead. You just have to uh, listen as a class to a pre recorded lesson delivered by your teacher. Okay? So that's how every lesson, every module is going to begin with. Then we move to the second phase, the we do phase. We here refers to your teacher and to you. So in this phase, you are now going to have to put in a little bit of your collaboration, uh, of your active collaboration, because in the first phase, you also have to collaborate. Your collaboration is going to be shown in the first phase in listen, listening attentively to the pre-recorded lesson of your teacher. In the second phase, here what happens is that there's prompting. This is the teach your teachers here will be providing you with activities, with uh, opportunities to deepen the lesson that you have seen uh, in phase one. So it's going to be uh, it's going it's not going to be a one session thing for for this phase. This this part can run for one week or two weeks, depending on the, the modules designed by your teachers. And the mode of delivery here is either synchronous, some of, the, some of this will be synchronous, meaning to say you're going to meet with your small groups and your teacher, and you're going to interact about the lesson that, that is at hand. Or there will also be some asynchronous uh, activities here, like you can you will be asked by your teachers to go to your NGS account and accomplish some activities that are there related to the lesson. Now, after a substantial time uh, spent for this second phase, when your teachers are already sure that you have already mastered, you have gained a certain mastery of your lesson, then we, you are going to move to the third phase, which is the you do phase. You here refers to you, Bosconians. Here, you are. What happens is that you will be given the opportunity to do individual practice of the skills and concepts that your teacher has tried to uh, deliver in the first two phases of the of the of the strategy. Now, uh, this the mode of delivery for this will be asynchronous. You ha you have to go to your NGS accounts and then work on uh, activities in the self learning modules, activities and um, formative assessments that are there in the modules. You you are going to work on your own so that you will be able to deepen more the lesson. So if you again recall the third the fourth quarter experience of last school year. The, that fourth quarter experience was uh, similar to this third phase. So there was no phase one and phase two. Not because we didn't like to do it at that time, but you know, we were all not prepared to do that because it was so sudden, the, the classes were suspended so suddenly and therefore some of you and your teachers didn't have the, some of your things were here in school internet connect connectivity and gadgets were not readily available for all and so on and so forth. That's why he had, that was the best thing that we could do at that fourth quarter. But for this school year, we do not like to burden you the way you were burdened during the fourth quarter. That's why we have designed the classes to run like this. Okay, You'll understand this more when, when you start meeting your teachers. Now, in the guided home learning mode, it's the same. Uh, it's the same phases that they're going uh, that we, they will be going through. However, in place of the teacher, they have the adult learning coach at home. Okay, so I'll I'll not elaborate on that so much. Now, I'd just like to emphasize, dear Bosconians, that regarding the use of gadgets, we are not asking you to have elaborate gadgets. No, since um, there will be synchronous and asynchronous classes. Siblings do not have to have, first of all, 
you do not have to have one gadget each for your online classes. If it is possible because you already have it, then it would be so much better. But uh, if there are uh, some of you who will have difficulties with this, just have to communicate with your teachers so that you can be given um, you can be given um, consideration regarding this matter. So, but uh, the gadgets need not be elaborate, okay? As long as you have the basic things that I have mentioned earlier, then you will be able to participate in our online classes. Now, in, what happens in case of connectivity issues and gadget loss or breakdown? In case these things happen, you can also request for printed learning packets from the school, which means we can always print out for you handouts, lessons, worksheets, and chapter tests. But the, uh, the responsibility of getting them from the school and return them, the, returning them back to the school in time uh, before the deadlines, are the responsibility is on you or on your parents. Okay. Um, they may either come or they may either ask Grab, Express, Ankas, or Lalamove to get the materials for you. And But the payment for the delivery service will always be on the student or parent concern. But since Wisconsin's, the reason why we're not here in DBS now, we're unable to hold face-to-face -face classes, uh, is because of a virus as a safety measure against the spread of the COVID-19 virus, we are inclined to actually discourage the regular use of this modality. Since passing on of the printed materials from the school to the home and vice versa, with several people handling the materials could make it a possible venue of spreading the virus around. For now, let this just be a temporary solution for any issue with the internet or the gadgets that may arise. So I hope we can keep this. Now, class sizes, I already mentioned, as you have noticed probably yesterday, um, you have the same, you have your regular class sizes. But when we do the synchronous classes, the number of students per synchronous session will be limited from 10 to 15 or perhaps 20, um, depending on the grade level. Now, for the grading system, well, I have been waiting for DepEd to issue the grading system for this school year, but until now, they have not given out any uh, regarding that matter. Anyway, uh, until something else comes out, this is uh, what I can say about our grading system for this school year. As in the face-to-face -face modality, our, your academic marks will focus on the degree of mastery of the given competencies in every subject area for each grading period. We'll continue to use letter grades or the qualitative academic marks to reflect your quarterly and year-end grades. Conduct grades will also be still be given based on the following. Number one, your behavior and participation in online or homeschool classes. So please, Bosconians, please be mindful. Uh, yeah, during our opening rites yesterday, some of you were chatting, uh, were putting in things in the chat box that were quite irrelevant. I hope this is not going to happen ever again uh, today or in your Zoom classes or in your online classes. Please be mindful. Huh? that this, this is a way of learning. This, we're, we're, and we're not able to come to school, but we're still learning, but we're still going through formation. So we have to be mindful. We have to, we have to know that the school will continue to form us into the good Christians and upright citizens that you are all called to be. And then conduct rates will also be based on the level of diligence that you are going to show in completing your synchronous and asynchronous requirements and the extent of your commitment to the school's respect pact and the care create a responsible environment online program and of course you're leaving out of the Bosconian profile okay so this applies to everybody whether you are in the online distance learning or in the guided home learning mode 
Other details on the comp components of the quarterly and year-end grades will be provided once the DepEd issues the revised rules on marking to be used for this school year. Now, I'm, I'm almost at the last part, Wisconsin's. There are actually necessary home conditions to make this distance learning work. Uh, I'd like you to take note of this. Number one, from now on, I hope after five months of being idle at home, uh, of not really knowing uh, how to make good use of your time perhaps um, during the quarantine period, now we're back to school. And so it's time that we put back certain rules and routines in our day-to-day -day schedule. Okay? Um, so first of all, you should have a daily schedule that, will, that you are supposed to follow during the day. Okay? So if you were staying up so late in the past months or weeks because anyway, there were no classes, you're just staying home, this time I invite you to start putting back the regular class day routine in your, in your schedules. Okay? Set the time each morning when you will have to wake up so that you will not be late in your uh, classes. And uh, set as well your time for bed at night. You will notice, dear Bosconians, that in the face-to-face -face sessions, the face-to-face -face classes, you were, you, you were attending like five or six or seven classes every day in the face-to-face -face setup. In the online setup, we're not going to make you attend as much number of classes uh, every day. That's going to be too taxing. Therefore, what am I saying here? Since you will not really have to be attending classes uh, the whole day like you were doing in the face-to-face -face mode, there is no reason for you not to be able to use the time during the day for your uh, school works. So if you make use of your time during the day, you make use of your time well, there is no reason for you to stay up late at night and do your schoolwork. Okay? So you have to have this. Uh, you have, I invite you to start putting back this routine in your, in your lifestyle. Okay? And I encourage you to complete all your academic works on or before the deadlines as best as possible. And then please also include regular physical fitness activities at home and good personal hygiene to remain healthy and well. Before you attend classes, make sure you have uh, eaten a good breakfast and you, have, uh, you, are, are, you are well groomed and ready to, uh, to see your classmates and your teachers online. And then uh, the, these other conditions uh, pertain to your, to your parents, I told them about, is that they are expected to regularly supervise you. So, Wisconsinians, your teachers are no longer beside you every day the way they were, like, I mean, in the physical sense, in the face-to-face -face setup. So, this time, your parents are called forth to exercise their duties over you, their responsibilities over you in a more um, active manner you know, concerning your schoolwork. So please let them supervise you. And as I've said in my Good Day talk, in my, in my um, message yesterday, you have to have a dedicated learning space at home. It should be away from distractions. Noisy surroundings, other people walking around, gadgets not needed for your classes, etc. Okay? And lastly, let's always have open communication and collaboration, even if uh, there are the limitations brought about by the setup being online. Okay? You know your you know how to get in touch with your teachers, you you know how to um, you know how to how you could possibly reach out to to anyone in the school who will be able to help you with your concerns. Please do that. I just ask that we all be kind and cordial at all times with our words. Okay, I, I know this is not a problem with you, Bosconians, 
no? this it's it's more for uh for us adults perhaps no but um uh, it's good to be reminded as i have mentioned yesterday let's be kind and respectful in our words and in our actions especially in our online classes okay so so Every day of this school year, we'll see you at our virtual campus. I, I hope all of you are aware that we now have a website, dbsmanila.online. Go to that website and there you will see, you will see uh, all school-related concerns. Now, there are links there for every member of the DBS educating community. So if you open that website, you'll see there, Bosco, a Bosconian portal. Click that and there, there you'll see all the links to the academic apps, to the Zoom meetings, to the Google Meet, the Solar NGS, etc. Everything that you will need to be able to do your schoolwork. So, as I've said, we really uh, hope this virus will be over, the pandemic will be over, and that we can have you all back here in DBS. But in the meantime, we'll see you at our virtual campus, dear Bosconians. Now, a special word for senior high school. This school year, as you know, will still be divided into two semesters, but every semester will still be further divided into two. This is so that you will not be loaded with a lot of schoolwork um, for every semester. Uh, we know it's quite difficult to be studying on your own, so please take note of the schedule that's projected there. For each half of the semester, half of the regular subject, subject load per semester will be taken by you. Okay, so if you have, for example, if you have 10 subjects for the first semester, from August 24 to October 30, the first half of the semester, you're only going to take five of those subjects. Okay, now after that, you finish with a five, and then from November 4 to December 19, you take the other five. So by the time we reach the end of the first semester, you have finished all 10 subjects for the first semester. So I hope this, uh, this is a way of uh, lightening up your load, dear senior high Bosconians. And uh, I just ask you to be very open and uh, very open to reach out to your teachers, especially when there are difficulties that would arise. All right, so that's it, Bosconians. That's, that's what Deeply DBS is all about. I hope uh, you are all eager and excited to go on with this school year. And um, I assure you that your teachers and all of us in the DBS admin have been preparing so hard for this. Uh, school year for all of you no? yeah we can do this i know it's it's not going to be easy because uh there's nothing like the face-to-face -face thing but we can do this we're ready to face this new normal because this is what the times call for at the at the moment so remember that dbs is a next generation school you have been using the ngs for a long time now so it's that's one plus factor and your teachers are trained to conduct quality technology powered education while ensuring the personal accompaniment of of each one of you the catholic and solution way so um to end i'd like to invite you to really begin with this school year with a grateful heart, Bosconians. You know that even if we talk of the Bosconians of last year, a number of them had to leave DBS and transfer to public schools. And maybe a few of them have even decided to stop studying for, for the meantime because of the difficulties that this pandemic has uh, brought, uh, specifically their families. So please, be grateful that your parents have tried their very best to bring you back to DBS this school year and allow you to continue learning and growing into the Bosconians that you can be, despite the difficulties that they are probably uh, encountering. Okay, so, uh, and how do we show this gratitude? We'll be able to show this gratitude in the way we 
participate in everything that this online classes will entail. Okay, so when it is time to listen, when we listen, when it's time to um, participate uh, and do some school uh, activities given by your teachers, then, then we do so. We don't waste our time just, um, uh, you know, chatting aimlessly with our classmates, no? uh, you know, not listening or not participating at all. Because if we do that, then we waste this precious opportunity that, has, that is upon us now. Because as I've said, your parents have done their very best to still be able to send you to school this school year. Okay, so uh, I really look forward to a, a unique school year with all of you, dear Bosconians. Please just reach out for anything that uh, you feel would, uh, would be a help that you need. Let us know, let your teachers know. But together, I really believe that we can make the most out of this experience if we will just all give our own particular to com contribution to make things work out. So good day, Buscanians, and I hope we will all have a wonderful school year ahead of us. God bless you. Thank you, Sister Pinky. Live Jesus and marry with joy. Let us now sing our alma mater to be led by our very own Don Bosco School Choral.